Well, howdy folks, and welcome to Silent Storm. Uh, before I start this, y'all just need to know, this game is a bitch to record, man. Um, it's an old game, so it doesn't have widescreen support. It's over here on, uh, 1280 by 960. And, uh, well, if you try to make it widescreen, like, text doesn't fit, and... I, uh, like, windowed mode does not work, and DXW and D to set it to windowed mode makes it crash, and I can't use my keys, uh, to, like, record, because, like, your keyboard is, like, locked into the game. So, yeah, this was a pain in the ass to set up. I basically got a display capture set up, so when I, like, end the recording, you'll see, like, a background before I end the recording, but that's okay. Because this is a cool game. It's worth showing off. Uh, it, this is S2 Silent Storm. There's also Silent Storm Sentinels, which I'll also play. That's the, the sequel to this. And it's a lot more clean. But uh, I want to go through this one first. We got our guy with the harmonica. And I'll set some stuff up, and then we'll start explaining what the game actually is. But we're going to want to always critical on AP for inventory usage. Headshots should kill and improved backstabs. Let's apply that. And we'll do a campaign. We're going to be doing the allies. Uh, we're going to set the difficulty to hard, I think. I will know the number of mission objectives, but not their description until I locate them. I'll not be able to save the game while in combat. I'll have to carry unconscious characters out of the mission zones. The characters will receive some medical aid between missions. And what's this one? Yeah, very likely to die without help. Yeah, let's stick with hard. Impossible is irritating. We're gonna be American. Uh, we'll just pick one of these. It actually doesn't matter, because we're gonna do a custom character. So, this actually has some nice little character creation in it. We're gonna be American. We're gonna be, I think, we're gonna be a soldier. The core fighting force of the team, we have more strength and dexterity, therefore more vitality points. We specialize in automatic weapons and stationary machine guns. We can handle these tasks better than anyone else. Sensible class for us to be. Uh, I think it's our nickname that shows up here, so... We'll just, you know... We'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll just, we'll be Lysander as a nickname, just so it's there. Uh, we're going to want to take a couple points away from strength and dex and put them into intelligence, I think, because intelligence determines our leveling up. Each character in this game has a level up system, and they have some stats such as strength and dexterity. Strength gives us uh, vitality points and maximum weight we can carry without losing out on action points. Uh, dexterity is reflexes and hand-eye coordination, basically accuracy and speed. This is a summary of all the uh, mechanics there, the, all the skills, but we're, we're just going to skip over that. We don't need... To, you can't actually adjust anything directly. It's just derivative off of attributes and, and as your like character levels up. Let's make a custom head. Gender is on a slider. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We'll be... We'll be moderately male. <laughs> just keep the nationality. We'll be fairly young. Uh, we'll have eyebrows like that. And I'll do a nose like this. And our cheeks will be like so. We'll do like fairly thin lips, I guess, like that. And I don't know. Chin sort of like that. Hair like so. And we'll have some stubble. And let's put some glasses on, because I wear glasses. R.I.P. me. We look like one of those, like, nerds from a anime who's going to betray everyone. It's fantastic. As far as facial damage goes, apparently camo is facial damage. Don't worry about it. There's no logic in this game. Um, I don't... I don't think we, we'll, we'll go with any of this. You got, you got it. it. You got 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 it. We're going to go with the American voice because it makes the most sense. All right, let's just hit play. We'll get right into it and then I can explain things. Oh, this mission has gone to hell. Every single one of my men is dead except you. Oh, and 
I am seconds away from joining them. You'll be fine, Colonel. I'll get you out of here. We're too far behind enemy lines. The Germans are on top of us. The documents we acquired will never reach headquarters. Ugh. We have all died in vain. They're near. We have to get moving. No. I will only get you killed. Uh, you have a better chance of returning with the documents alone. They are too important for heroics. I'm not going to leave you to die here. I'll, co I'll cover your retreat. Go now. That's a... That's a what? That's a what? He passes out. Boop. Good. As next in command, I say we're going together. And that's an order. Ooh. All right. So, we're here. You got it. Uh, you don't got it. So, Silent Storm is a, technically a turn-based game, but it also has movement and con not Consider combat, it but... Done. This soldier will meet his maker. We, we can also kind of work soon. outside of the turn-based stuff as well. Combat is not started, Hold so technically fire. we're not actually doing turns control. yet. Yes, thank you, Lysander. So, best way to learn is just to sort of get into the action. We're going to run up on this guy. The park. We're going to start combat. So, we have ourselves a machine gun here. It's a Sten Mark II. We can see the damage it does, 21 to 28. Clip size of 32. We're not familiar with it. And it has snapshot, short burst, aim shot, long burst, etc., etc. The type of ammo it uses. We have an inventory screen. We have grenades. We have clips for our gun. And, well, we've got ourselves a German here with some sort of rifle. I guess it's probably a, like a Mossen. Either way, he's not going to be alive for long. We can also target specific parts of his body, like his head, but you can see our two-hit chance goes quite low. You can also see that each kind of shot takes up AP or action points. Uh, everything we do in turn-based mode in combat takes up action points, including like movement, stances, all that good shit. We're going to want to make sure this guy dies so we don't get shot, so we're going to do a full burst, which will use all of our AP, most likely, until he dies. Die. Daka daka. Dying. You are dead. Thanks for noticing. So we're going to lie Lysander down now, because we can hear... See that ear icon? We can hear that there's another guy somewhere up on this hill. We're going to go ahead and hide, and we'll end our turn. All right, let's creep up on them. So there are stealth mechanics in this game. Uh, it depends on what kind of class you are, what sort of stealth you're going to be looking at. So you would need to look at the character stats here, but I can tell you, Lysander is a soldier. He's not going to have great stealth. You want scouts for that. That's fine. We're just going to end the turn. He can't see us yet, so we can just keep creeping up. And he's only got a rifle, so even if he hits us, it's not a big deal. Obviously, we have a submachine gun, so our accuracy at range is not going to be particularly awesome. That should do it. Next turn, we'll take it. My position is well, compromised. That was the beginning of uh, the German's turn there, the Axis soldier's turn, so he got a chance to spot us, and he happened to spot us. That'll happen a lot. Our goose is cooked. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is just, just so much fun. So yeah, he's eliminated, and as I said, he spotted us at the beginning of the turn. Now, if that guy had had a submachine gun or a heavy machine gun, I would not have rolled up on him like that. Combat has ended because there were no... In Ooh, that was rude. Let's look around. We can't see who just shot at us. Me no likey. Let's pick up this, uh, what is this? It's a 3340. Okay. Uh, let's... Hi ah, there you are, you son of a bitch. What kind of shot can we take from here? 18%? Come on, man. Let's hide behind a tree. Safety tree! And we can hide again. Let's crouch. Keep our profile low. And let's end the turn. I would like to end combat so I can roll up on this guy. Okay, combat is ended. Charge! 
Holy shit, you got really close before you got noticed. Well, this guy's fucking dead. Can you shoot him in the face? 10%. Aw. Fine, just kill him. I am dying. We're being really brave here because this is basically the tutorial mission. It could be much harder. And there will be many, many Consider very difficult done. missions as we uh, get more deep into the game. Also, I'm not seeing... Hitting left alt, it should be showing me what's on the ground. I guess nothing's on the ground yet. Oh, there it is, yeah. This guy dropped nothing. That's weird. They should drop, like, clips and stuff. Okay, let's get... Not there, you idiot. Let's get right here. That's what I was worried about. Mm. Mm. That guy's got a pistol in there. That's fine. I want you to Consider it done. just crouch right here and not get shot. So the game's got a great destruction system. Uh, stop it. As you can see, that window is being destroyed. Um, and not only can windows be destroyed, but like entire walls, entire buildings, floors, ceilings, those are all destructible terrains. We got a couple dudes over here. Now, I actually could get onto this motorcycle and use this machine gun, but I'm not going to because that'll activate a cutscene. And there will be some dudes that will come out and try to kill us. So let's, uh, let's just pretend we got in. Okay. How good can you get a shot off here? 97%. Yeah, so basically turning on that function of headshots should kill means that, like, actually aiming for the head is really, really hard. Um, if you don't have headshots should kill on, uh, hitting people in the head doesn't matter as much. Pew, pew. I'm getting a bad feeling. That bad feeling is a bullet. Hurts, don't it? He should turn around and shoot at us now. He's got a submachine gun, that's why we're engaging him from range. Submachine guns, not accurate from range, but you know, they can kind of put a lot of bullets in your area, so you want to be wary of them. And he's dead. I am dying. So in general, uh, combat's going to be more lethal because I turned on, uh, what is it, all hits are critical. It doesn't mean that every hit does more damage per se, it just means that every bullet hit causes some form of status effect. Either you'll lose AP, or you'll start bleeding, or you'll go blind, uh, you might drop your weapon. All sorts You've of fun it. mechanics can happen. In the park. It is gonna be a walk in the park. You're gonna shoot this man. Oh, rip. That should set him back a bit. I should think so. All right, we'll end our turn. And now we can go ahead and get in the bike. Cutscene, activate. All right, so we get three dudes here, and they get a free turn to shoot at us, because of course they do. But, uh, these guys are about to have a bad day. You saw that fence got destroyed there. He said, we're going to be seeing a lot of that destructible terrain throughout this game. Uh, a lot of times it is a fantastic idea to uh, just shoot through a floor to kill someone or blow up a ceiling under them. Shoot here, okay. Yeah, go for it. Now we can hear this guy, but he may be crouched. So that probably did not hit him. Uh, when you can hear an opponent, you automatically shoot at them as if they were standing. So you want to do some manual aiming in those cases. I don't see anyone. Let's just save our AP and hope we get an interrupt. Ugh. <laughs> Shit. Get out of there. You dumbass. You don't even understand. We could have died right there. That would have been in the end. You lose. I'm getting a bad feeling. It's just that easy, folks. Just that easy. Where the fuck is the other guy? Mm hmm. Gotta wait for the game to let this guy's, like, grenades and shit roll down the hill.
Okay, this other guy just has a rifle, so he shouldn't be too much of a threat. What? Where are you? Ugh. Hold your fire. I have this encounter under control. I sure fucking hope so, because you're you blind as a bat. Our goose is cooked. Nice. I like how he jumped a little. All right, that should be everything. Uh, let's let his body roll down or whatever it needs to do. In the turn, combat should end. And so basically how the how the save system worked, you notice it said I can't save during combat, but I can save right now. Uh, it means, you know, if combat is active here, start combat, then I will not be able, excuse me. I Result shot that door open. R like right now, we're technically in combat, so I can't save it. That's something to be noted. Um, there are some missions where basically you'll be in combat the whole time, so you can spend an hour and lose a mission and not have any saving happen. Got a Nagant. It's not a very good weapon, but I guess I have it. Okay. Let's go grab Mr. Man down here. I'm not even going to bother with their weapons, I don't think. They're Axis submachine guns. I don't want them. Come on, you. Pop, 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 pop. All right. And now we need to go put him in the motorcycle. You got it. Game has that in objectives here. Carry commander to motorcycle. Not that objectives will be helpful much in this game. Usually it'll just be a blank sheet until you see it. Then it'll be like, "Oh hey, pick up the sh pick up the document." Thank God we don't have to do this in turn-based mode. Did we shoot this guy in the knees? I think we did. That sucks, man. You can usually see the bullet holes. You can also see, like, your equipment on your frame. Like, I have some grenades, and you can see a grenade on my hip there. Usually they'll drop a lot more equipment, too. Yeah, we shot a lot of guys in the legs. That's just sadistic. Alright. Now we're done with the tutorializing, but... The game still has a bit to tell us, so let's go get some information. You got it. I do got it. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Colonel Whitmore. I'm glad to be here as well. My entire base is at your disposal. Your mission has been designated a high priority. I will do my best to ensure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. Much appreciated, Colonel. As long as you are here, feel free to call me Terrence. <laughs> As you wish, Terrence. <laughs> okay. I am not sure what the Germans are that up always to with recent up. increase in intelligence activities, and that in itself is a cause for concern. As you wish, Terrence. However, I trust you will get to the bottom of it. I'll do my best. Do you have anything for me? Something to start with? Yes. I was just getting to that. Were you? All right. Eyes only. Okay. Only eyes may look at this. Special Operations, SE2, Priority 1. There has been a notable increase in German clandestine operations on British soil. Enemy agent sightings have more than doubled. Numerous attempts have been made to sabotage strategic installations, and top-secret documents have gone missing under mysterious circumstances. Yet, the most disturbing activities have been the apparent kidnappings of our scientific researchers and high-ranking personnel. We've located a German safe house in the English countryside. If you move quickly, it's possible some of our personnel might be being held there while awaiting transportation to Germany. Lieutenant Randy Scott, British Intelligence. Okay. I'm proud to say the mission specialists you'll have at your disposal are some of the most elite personnel in this war. Much appreciated, Terence. <laughs> I will be assembling small <laughs> squads. No more than five additional soldiers will accompany me. As you wish. You can come to me at any time, and I'll provide you with soldiers' dossiers. Again, my gratitude. Okay, so we will have access to it. soldiers. Let's just leave that screen for now. Let's uh, go through the other tutorializing stuff real quick. Hello, this is where we get healed. Captain Norris, or would you prefer to be called Dr. Norris? Actually, I prefer to be called Susan. <laughs> Her fucking voice. <laughs> Actually. Okay, Susan. Oh I'm the squad leader of Special Operations Our guy SE2, is a schmuck. <laughs> and though I never expected to be saying such a thing, 
I hope we won't be seeing too much of each other over the coming weeks. I know who you are. Not by name, of course. Apparently, nobody does. Please, don't feel the need to be bleeding in order to visit. Ooh, we are clandestine. I'll keep that in mind, Captain Susan. She said just Susan. However, if you are in need of my care, just give me a word, and I will attend to you personally. Personally. No. <laughs> oh I'll God. keep that in mind as well. Ooh. Okay, last guy. Consider it done. I can Don't I do. believe we've met Sergeant Brian Oswell. I'll run this pawn shop here. I've been advised you're my top customer. So, let me know what you need, and I'll see what I can do. Good to meet you, Oswell. Oops, I'm cut sure we'll be seeing plenty of each other. You must be heading up something really big. Could be. Could be? Okay, so this is our armory. We'll get there in a minute. Now it's time to pick some people. Ooh, people. Best part of the game, it's a squad game. What? Don't go outside. You got it. Oh, do I need to talk to you? Thought you I would got it. click on the cabinet. All right, so we have a multinational team of many classes. Uh, I pretty much have a good idea of who I'm going to go with here. We need a scout, sniper, probably another soldier, um, a grenadier, and a medic. So, as far as scouts go, we have Erin Elf Farrell. She is from the UK. She's 4'8", very short, 121 pounds. She has some issues, and those issues are nightmares to her enemy. She's quiet and dark, keeps to herself. Born amongst the lush forests in Ireland. Okay. She uh, chiseled macabre statues as a child. She joined the paratroopers. They say that she acquired her rank of lieutenant by throwing people out of planes. Fantastic, you're hired. I'll take a look at the other scouts just to Wait. show them off. Yes, anyway, precisely what I, got I had in mind. Uh, Hen -en. We have a Canadian scout who is a native. Grandfather Eagle Eye was a tribal elder. So, yeah. Dogovorino. Then we have uh, a Yugoslavian scout. An underground fighter. Cool. It is honor. We have a Korean scout, Suk. I've seen Suk in action before. Intelligence officer. Cool. Okay, as far as snipers go, I already know oh. who we're going with. Uh, here's one option. We have James Viper. Felt the poison snake best represented the lay and wait and strike one style. Okay. Like your wish. We have a Norwegian sniper. Like your wish. Like your wish. Oh, the accents are so bad. But we're going to be going with someone much more awesome. Second Lieutenant Zaneda. She is a Russian sniper. So she wanted a career in the military, but she is basically amazing. Let me find her information here. Basically, she started hunting as a young kid, joined her father hunting as a child. One of the first lessons she learned was not to miss. Sabiri was unforgiving. Her father would hit her upside the head if she ruined the animal's pelt. Her teachings were clear. The bullet should pass in one ear and out the other shoots the enemy through the ears rather than between them. Yeah. She's a fucking badass. She's basically a sniper before she was a sniper. You're on. Okay, we need a soldier. Let's see. We have a few options for soldiers. Let me look at their noteworthy accomplishments. I'm not sure who I wanted to hear. I don't really want a guy whose skill is with a knife. That's not... Super important it. to me. Oh. Interesting. Okay, what, what, what do we have with a Canadian soldier here? Gator. Experienced swimmer. He chose to volunteer for the military. Determined loyalist. 
ships he sunk he served were sunk on were sunk la, 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 la. the ships he served on were sunk so many times that many crewmen didn't want to be on the same boat as him <laughs> yeah okay so he was a sailor for quite some time Ah, oh, the Royal Navy refused him. And he took out more than half a dozen enemies single-handedly in a church bell tower in a small village in France. That's awesome. You're on. All right, we need a uh, grenadier. Let me see who we got oui, here. Oui, oui. Oui, bien sûr. Here's one of them, Bob Rousseau from France. Yeah, he got a distinguished medal. Cool. I got you. Well, I think we need another American on the squad. Probably got to go with Nessie. I do like Nessie. I like his voice lines. And yeah, he he's quite the old timer. Yeah, born in 1897, so he'd be around like 50. You'll see. I like his lines. <laughs> okay. Now we need a medic. There's only a few. Let me see here. Wait, there's wait. you, there's Yves, Pierre, and... Yes, sir. Abala. Interesting. His profile is covered in black tape, apparently. Precisely wait, what wait. I had in mind. And then, this is interesting. Uh, <laughs> We have a French medic who is actually mostly a plastic surgeon. Oh my god. Had to adjust my chair there. Chair was sinking. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I think everyone on the squad should get new noses. Aye. I gotta say. Alright, we got everyone here with us. You got it. If I can just... Oh, yeah, okay, right. I can't drag a selection box here. Let's go uh, arm them. Usually, I'll probably do this arming stuff off camera, but we'll do it on it camera for the first time. The wars are won and lost by how well the troops are outfitted. Fortunately, you have access to the best the British have to offer. The British? Whatever. Fucking Brits. Okay. Gonna wanna get rid of this crap. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of basically everything and start from scratch. I don't really care what they start with I just want put everything up myself Ooh, you had an interesting gun there so you can see like the stuff disappearing from their belts as I get rid of them also uh, Silent Storm Sentinels has a lot of cool features one of them is that uh, you can change the outfits on these characters I can't do that in this game but I will be able to in the next one which will be fun okay so me, I'm a soldier. I'm basically just going to need a rifle and... What did I just do? It Wasn't there another rifle? Hmm. Uh, what I intended to do there did not happen. Apparently I just dropped all their shit on the floor. <laughs> hmm. Well, I hit control click. I assumed control click would Take put it in the inventory. Oh, it was shift click I wanted. We, we're not going to talk about that, okay? Okay. And go ahead and arrange. There you go. That spawns new ammo in if, you, if the guns are compatible. Okay. So first off, me. I'm going to be like a mid to close range fighter for the most part. So I'm going to need a reasonable-ish rifle. Uh, probably this Lee Enfield Mark One. It's it's pretty basic. It's got a pretty high snapshot cost, um, but it'll work. It's really about as basic as it gets. Unfortunately, we'll get much better rifles as the game goes on. Six clips should be more than enough. Six magazines, rather. Excuse me. They have it has a magazine of ten per, so that's not bad. As far as submachine gun goes, well, there's not really a whole hell of a lot here. Uh, basically just this M3A1. You know, gotta take what you can get. We'll get better weapons as we go by far, for sure. And uh, I'll actually take some additional 
magazinos. And we'll bring some light grenades with us. May need those, you never know. Everyone should take a bandage if they can use one, and some hemostatic powder if they can bring it. Uh, of course, bandages heal people. Hemostatic powder reduces bleeding. Kind of important at times. No knives, that's dumb. Okay, next, Elf. Elf is mostly going to be a close-range fighter, so we're going to get her a decent pistol, probably. Get her a bunch of clips for those, and... Jeez. I'd rather get her a rifle, but we don't have enough rifles currently for everyone that needs one, so you're just going to stick with a pistol, I guess. And a couple light grenades as well, and I guess... Is this light? No, you probably won't be able to use this, but here, take it, I guess. I'll give you your throwing knives back. <laughs> Not like they'll do much good, but you can have them. Now, Zeneda, you get your Mazen 1891-1930 scoped. It's not a great weapon, but it'll do for now. now this only have five shots per clip. This is an actual clip, so take that. And also take a pistol for emergencies. That should be fine. Shouldn't need anything else. Well, let's make sure uh, I don't forget to give people bandages that can use them. Okay. Now, Gator, you will keep your big ass machine gun, the Lewis Mark I. Ooh. And you're going to need all the ammunition you can carry. Okay. Okay. Take a couple grenades with you, too, just in case. You never know when you might need some of those. And let's see here. Nessie. Nessie's going to take... I need more rifles. Give me more rifles. It's fine. I, I guess I should have brought some from the previous mission. I didn't expect that we wouldn't have any. That's whatever. You're the Grenadier, so you're going to take all four of these grenades. And finally... Yves. Actually, give that rifle to Yves. Or Pierre, as I'm probably going to end up calling him, mostly. Because our medic's more likely to stay back, for the most part. But it makes more sense for our medic to, uh, to do that. Be using a rifle. And you can just use this crappy pistol, I suppose, for the moment. Can I spawn any more grenades? I cannot. You can use hemostatic powder, but you can't use bandages. You can't use bandages. Zeneda can and has one. You have one. You have one. Bez has these hemostatic forceps. They heal critical conditions first, so like bleeding, AP loss, blindness, and then they heal 50 vitality points. These heal vitality points first. So we'll make sure he has a couple of those. And you can use mine probes. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll give you these. Uh, medics and engineers tend to have a little bit of crossover in their skills. So that's fine. And I think it's also worthy worthy of noting, I am running uh, a program called Skill Watchdog, or a script called Skill Watchdog, which basically fixes their skills. Um, by default, the game is actually sort of broken and, like, for example, the medicine skill does not level with the character properly. Uh, so it should work properly now. But that's all for this time because I've already run over 30 minutes. And next time we're going to go ahead and get out of my way. Next time we're going to run out. We're going to do a couple random missions and we'll come back. So I'll see you then.